So, today, I'm going to do a tour of our ponds from the top to the bottom. So here is the main source of our pond. It comes out of this pipe. So the water flows down here into this pipe. It's like a gutter pipe, I think. See? Across this over us is our trail. And it's gonna be our future railroad path. And comes out right here. See the railroad tracks I'm getting built. Look, water comes down over here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the the rapids. They flow into the my pond, the first pond ever built here. So here it is, it's all full of leaves. And this is the dam for my pond. I built this pond by myself in 2020. There's my dam. And it flows down here to this pipe. And it goes to a junction over here, the smaller creek feeds in. And it goes through this one. This one culvert always has sitting water in it. Here it comes out. And it's, this is Eric's pond. So Eric built this pond all by himself. And this is dam. See, we have these sticks up to catch debris. It's going in there. We have that rock over there to create bubbles for aeration. It comes. We used to have a second section, but the, the heavy rain, rushing water, tore it apart. And it comes down here into this pipe. And that river flows right into the biggest pond. We call this the new pond because it's the newest, the third pond out of them all. Eric and I both helped to build this thing. And we got fish in here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a bluegill. He just went away, but he was on that log over there. So we have about 10 fish. <coughs> Bass, bluegill, and red breast sunfish. And pumpkin seeds in here. So this... That border is like where the deep end is, and this is like a shallow. We just filled this in to make the pond look bigger. That's only like deepest, probably three inches over there. So I have this bridge I could walk across. This is like, this is where we dug, we put all the mud, we dug it, we dumped it here. And this is where we get our supplies from, like to patch any holes or, you know, do any repair. <coughs> So this is the dam for the new pond. See, it used to be like a much smaller hole, but since it was undersized, the hole, a lot of storm surge, so I made it bigger. Now this thing really blasts now. In some of my videos that I just, I posted like a week ago, you could see like, this dam at capacity, kind of. <laughs> so there it is. The top and here's the back. So it flows like this. 
Let's go through an alley. These are both created by the mud we dug out of the pond. And it goes down here to this pipe, which is new, which I put this in like a couple weeks ago. This is built out of a seltzer bottle. And then it goes down here. And we have these smaller culverts, which are built out of um, hard seltzer cans. Skinny and long cans there. Goes out over here. And then this flows along. To here. This is like an apple juice container. This culvert. And then we flows down here. And to this, which is an older pipe. It's kind of crushed because actually a deer stepped right onto this, like stepped, this is like my patchings up there, stepped right on it, destroyed it, that's why it's kind of crushed, and there's the end of it, and the river just flows along, here until it disappears, and yeah, normally if it, the water was higher or flow down there or whatever, you see this trail? This is the path of the railroad. So I'm gonna make a bridge going over this. I'm gonna use all this sediment here, like as some mud, su <coughs> as some mud supply. It's gonna continue. I'll make a railroad crossing on that road. It's gonna continue. So hope you enjoyed this tour of our ponds, November 9th, 2021. And thanks for watching.